Hi, this is Yorick. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to try out the new Secret Shared Validators test network on Prater. So very briefly, this is about Ethereum staking. So in Ethereum staking, you have a validator um, and that is represented by a signing key. There's you know videos that explain that in more detail. So you will, I can link a good one. And uh, that validator signing key which is backed by 32 ETH, or in this case for Prater by 32 Gurley ETH, it runs typically in one machine. So SSV, Secret Shared Validators, it suggests to break this up into four or seven or more um, pieces. In this case, we're gonna do four. And then each piece goes to one operator. That means no one operator has your key. They cannot make a mistake and slash you. And also if one operator goes down, your validator will continue a testing. So that's pretty cool. Um, this is a brand new public test net that we're gonna be running here. And I'm fairly excited. Uh, I am participating in this test net with my own company, Crypto Manufacture. Um, and uh, I'd love it if you guys would be choosing us as one of the operators when you test this. All right, here we go. Let's run a validator. Um, create validator just takes you to the launch pad. So I'm assuming that's all already been done. You've created your key, you've you got your signing key, you've deposited at the launch pad, you've done all that. Um, I have a separate video about how to have the ETH staker Discord bot deposit for you if you don't have girly ETH. I'm gonna link that as well. And then we got import validator. So that's what I'm gonna do, right? This is the signing key. Um, yep, we need a wallet. We're gonna do a MetaMask here. and I need my file. So my key store here and the password for the key store and say next. And now I can select operators. So you see here the verified operators, um, we're one of them. We're gonna just choose one from, we need four and four are verified right now. By the time you see this, there might be more. So let's go with block staking and then my own one, Crypto Manufacture, and then Paul Hanna and 0xA1 in the EU. Great, so we got four of those running, all independent of each other, um, all different uh, people running them in different infrastructures. And let's say next. Um, running a validator simultaneously to the SSV network will cause slashing to your validator. This is important. So if you are using a key that you are already running in a validator client somewhere, you need to go through the normal moving a key rigmarole. And I'll, uh, I'll link to a checklist for that as well, right? So basically you wanna be sure that you're missing like 10 minutes in between, so I can't validate twice and then it's deleted from your old uh, part. Okay, I understand that running it simultaneously will cause slashing and I'm careful and it's not running anywhere and I'm just putting it in here. All right, next. And once more, we see Paul Hanna, 0xA1, Crypto Manufacture, myself, and Block Staking, and run this validator. Now, this will use a tiny amount of Gureth, so you need just enough for this. There's faucets as well um, to uh, send this to a contract. And now it's sending the transaction, and when that's done, my validator um, should be live on the SSV network. Okay, so I see it uh, confirmed the transaction, it gives me a nice welcome screen, tells me I can monitor my validator now. That's in their, perform in their um, explorer, right? I've got this validator public key here, so I can copy that. And I can also go to prater.beaconchain. I should be able to put that in here I just deposited for it, so it's actually not live here yet. But if this had been picked up by the chain, then you could put that in, which takes 15 to 16 hours. Uh, if you put that in here and watch it on Beacon Chain as well and have Beacon Chain alert you about it and all those good things. All right, that's, that's it for SSV. It's really cool and new technology. And uh, I hope you'll try it out. And if you do, I hope you'll choose um, my own venture, Crypto Manufacture, as one of your node operators. Thank you.